In the known universe, a fundamental rule of relativity reigns supreme, the speed of light. It's a universal constant that all objects, from the tiniest particles to the most massive celestial bodies, must obey. If you have no rest mass and travel through the vacuum of space, you are compelled to move at the speed of light. This holds true for massless particles like photons and gluons, and even for particles with minuscule masses compared to their kinetic energy, such as neutrinos. It's a principle deeply rooted in our current laws of physics. Yet a puzzling revelation challenged this rule when we witnessed a remarkable merger of two neutron stars. The gravitational waves produced by this cosmic event arrived before the accompanying light, defying our expectations. Both signals originated from a staggering 130 million light years away, a distance that should theoretically be inconsequential. If the signals were generated simultaneously and followed identical paths through space, they should have arrived at the same time. This mystery has spurred scientists to explore the underlying reasons. As they gathered more data about these events and our universe, one explanation emerged from the rest. The story begins on August 17, 2017, when we received a signal from an event in the distant galaxy NGC 4993, where two neutron stars engaged in a gravitational collapse, causing ripples in the fabric of space-time known as gravitational waves. As they spiraled closer, these waves carried away orbital energy, drawing the stars nearer and nearer. Eventually, they touched, resulting in an awe-inspiring scientific discovery. At that precise moment, the gravitational wave signal abruptly ceased, leaving us with the tantalizing question of what followed. 1.7 seconds later, the answer arrived in the form of gamma rays, a burst of electromagnetic energy. This event allowed us to pinpoint the location of the neutron star merger with unparalleled precision. Over subsequent weeks, light in various wavelengths continued to reach us, offering a rich tapestry of observations. However, there was a stark contrast when we observed another neutron star neutron star merger in 2019. It was more massive, yet no light was emitted, favoring the notion that neutron stars do not generate light immediately upon merging. Instead, the emission of light appears to follow a distinct pattern. The key lies in understanding how light is generated during these celestial unions. It could happen immediately as the neutron stars touch, but the light may be delayed by the material surrounding them. Alternatively, the generation of light might require time, either for ejected material to collide with surrounding matter, or for reactions inside the neutron stars to produce energy that eventually reaches the surface. In all these scenarios, gravitational waves propagate unhindered, while light takes a little longer to emerge. This intricate interplay between light and gravity has profound implications, particularly for understanding the origin of heavy elements such as gold, platinum, iodine, and uranium. These elements are forged in neutron star mergers, but not necessarily in every event. Whether it's ejected material or internal reactions, the light associated with these cataclysmic events is produced after the gravitational wave signal has subsided, and it may further be delayed by its passage through the material surrounding surrounding the stars. In conclusion, the delay in the arrival of light relative to gravitational waves during neutron star mergers highlights the complexity of these cosmic phenomena. As we continue to observe and collect data from similar events, we inch closer to a more comprehensive understanding of the celestial interplay that unfolds in the depths of our universe.